Good morning, Jora. Are you exploring? <laughs> when I came down, he was half standing on this table as he has been doing lately. Um, he likes to try to find used tissues. Just has to be the yummiest thing when you get a dried, hardened, snot-filled tissue to chew up. I want to show you my new bedroom setup. This is my new plant. Uh, it's a spider plant. I showed my succulents in the last video, but those are not my only new plants. That spider plant has been, I'll just say in the family, I, at least two decades. Pretty sure it was my mother's. At least I'm pretty sure it's the same one. God, my face is super dry right now. Focus on my face. <laughs> All right, it's not light enough yet because I got this light coming in behind me and I haven't turned on my new lights on my dresser yet. So this is my new dresser. And now this is not new either. This is very old. So now it's mine. And I've added lights to it because I wanna put makeup on here. I need like a makeup station. And I moved my makeup from the office to right there. And then I have heartbrain and fat <laughs> up above it. I'm gonna fumble around and try to put on these um, eye masks that I got for your under eye. Well, this is cool. Um, oh, there's actually like a lot of serum in there. So how does this go on? Like the bigger part under your eyes, so it's like the check mark going out this way from in to out. All right, I've never put one of these on my face before. So I don't know if I'm gonna be good at this or if I'm gonna be swearing. <laughs> oh, it goes that way. Okay, that makes more sense. So I opened it up upside down. Um, there's still a lot of the like gooey liquid crap in here. So what I'm gonna do is like, Pour it on there. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Wait 20 or 30 minutes. Okay, so there's nothing in here about the excess liquid. All right. Oh, I might not be able to put my glasses on. All right, well, they're definitely sliding down my face. <laughs> it's like a highlighter. I wish I could put highlighter on my face without it like going into all of my pores and just making my pores look huge instead of actually being cute. <laughs> um, this is Mike's new nightstand. And uh, that's actually a table from Granny's living room that will eventually one day be in our living room, I hope. And then we got a nice big tall chest of drawers over there too that match this dresser. There is a matching bed frame in the set, but it's only for a full-size bed, so that's not going to work for us because Mike is taller than a full-size bed. What I'm going to do now is get together a bunch of stuff for a video that I want to make about all of the items that I have bought for our trip coming up to um, Punta Cana. And I bought a ton of stuff. On Amazon for the trip and I want to make a video about all this crap I bought look at how much these are sliding down my face I mean that sucks oh well that one just totally fell off they feel like slugs what's the point if they're not gonna even remotely stay in place and I did put it on correct side on my skin We'll see. Maybe I'll keep my glasses off so I can just keep pushing them back up because it touched my glasses. <laughs> Whatever, I just got to wipe off my glasses. All right, well, I had to take those goopy things off of my eyes. And I'll know for next time not to pour that extra liquid on them. I'm pretty sure that that's what was causing them to be that much extra slippery. <laughs> I woke up when Mike left for work, which was only four hours after I went to bed, 
and I didn't go back to sleep. And I'm gonna try to force myself to stay awake as long as possible today. Maybe go to bed at a reasonable time and actually start getting up early in the morning again. I just realized that I've touched my face several times and because I have makeup on from attempting to do the travel haul video, which I hate the way it turned out and I will be redoing it so that I'm not just mumbling on and on about certain stupid things and Jorah interrupted me a ton and the lighting was horrible and it just kind of looked like crap in it. Um, hi. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> I love you so much. And I have to get some spaghetti noodles and sauce because I told Mike and I told you yesterday that I'm making venison spaghetti for us today. And I'm going to. I really don't feel like driving. I really don't feel like going out in public. I feel like a greasy goblin. <laughs> How can you not love him? Like, I mean, seriously, just, oh my God. You must think I'm talking to him. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> sure. Are you looking for daddy? He's not home yet. He's not going to be home for an hour. I really want to wait until he gets home to go do uh, this stuff. Like to go to Target and start cooking. I know he's going to be hungry when he gets home and not want to go out, but I'm really, really hoping that he, <laughs> that he will, <laughs> he will take me out <laughs> to Target to pick up my order and stuff to cook for him. <laughs> I should go take a shower so I don't feel like such a grease goblin. Oh my god. You know what, while I watched this stupid vlog of some random person that went to Punta Cana two weeks ago, <laughs> that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at in my vacation obsession brain. I'm just watching other people's vlogs from Punta Cana. And uh, that's, that's what's happening right now. <laughs> I'm just counting down my life right now. I'm not appreciating it for what it is at this moment. I'm counting down 28 more sleeps so that I can enjoy it the same in a different location. <laughs> That's not healthy. It's not healthy at all. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do some exercises while I watch this and then go take a shower. That's my word. I'm gonna hold me to it. Please, Dora. Will you hold me to it? Oh, big yawn. I'm assuming Target has spaghetti noodles in Prego. Oh, yeah. They should. Yeah, they should. <laughs> Problem is, is I think Lynn is going to totally look at this as a from a business perspective, and this absolutely does not help the office at all. No. So a girl promised a man venison spaghetti, and we just went to Target to get some spaghetti and prego and parmesan, and now I'm going to make it. Do oh my god. So much venison. Uh, meaty spaghetti. Yes, it is. Delicious. So that's our huge two pound chunk of venison. And it's delicious. 
I got a new shirt. I'm just gonna show you. I'm excited. <laughs> this is a great summer shirt. And this will be, um, I'm totally wearing this to the trivia on Saturday. Oh, yeah. We are going to Game of Thrones trivia on Saturday night at a local brewery. I had been talking for months about uh, bringing them, well, bringing his mom specifically uh, with us if we found a Game of Thrones trivia night, and we did. <laughs> so it's on. I'm excited. <laughs> Oh, look at that cheese. Mmm, look at that cheese. So much meat on it, too. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I'm glad. I gotta run back downstairs and grab my IKEA suitcase because I usually use it right here to block him in. So, i go back down and do that. But, um, I discovered the very hard way that it is entirely possible to cook using way too much onion powder and completely turn your entire townhouse into an onion. And I mean an onion. It felt like I cut an onion and rubbed it in my eyes. So that was the most unpleasant experience. And it's the second time it's happened recently. <laughs> when was the first? Was it the other time I made spaghetti? I don't Oh, no, it was when I did chicken the other night. So, no more cooking with that much onion powder. Um, that was insane. And because I only slept four hours last night, I passed out on the couch on my... <laughs> And uh, I opened up the windows on either side to um, get airflow through and then passed out. So that felt really good to actually sleep a bit. But that's been our evening. Um, Mike watched some slow-mo guys and I slept on him. So now I'm going to bed and I hope you had a great day and good night.